Hello, it's Crafty Rhea, and welcome to Monday Night Live. I'm so glad you are all joining me tonight. I hope it is a fun show for you. I, of course, enjoy doing the lives. So today in my silver cup, I have some sugar-free cherry drink mix. Very exciting. I know. I hope everyone is doing well. I have some mail to open and lots of mail to open. And then we'll kind of go from there about what we'll do for the rest of the show. If you're here, please do say hello in the chat. I would greatly appreciate that. The first thing I want to show you is this cool cooler that I got from one of my not so secret pals Rhonda we exchange something about once a month and this is awesome it's insulated a little insulated tote and it has Tigger and Pooh and it has it on the side and on the bottom I love Tigger Tigger is my favorite and I'm going shopping tomorrow with my BFF, Valerie, who is here. Hi, Val. And um, I will be bringing my lunch in my new tote bag. It's so exciting. I just wanted to show you guys. Hello, Carla and Michelle and Val and Angela and Shannon. I'm so glad you are all joining me today. And Francis, everybody, hello, hello. I do want to give a couple shout outs to some fellow YouTubers. Mike from Mike's Cooking Studio. He has been in the hospital and I think he was just discharged over the weekend, maybe on Saturday, and I hope he is doing well. Very, very sweet man. He's a good friend of Cher from Cher and Charlie's Personal Crafts, and I kind of think they have a crush on each other a little bit. So I enjoy watching both of them, and they are so much fun. And I doubt Mike is watching, but I hope he is doing well. And I also want to give a shout out to Tracy and Bill. Tracy from Mindless Crafting has some health issues going on, and she is one of the sweetest people, and I just hope she's doing well. If you guys know her, check out her channel, maybe send her a card in the mail or something like that. And if you haven't checked out Mike's Cooking Studio, go check that out. Of course, not now. Don't leave my live. You have to stay here. But um, go check it out and send him some love. He is such a sweet man. So those are my quick shout outs. And I hope everyone else is doing well. Hello, Agnes. Welcome to the live. I want to show you a couple things I got in the mail. The first couple things are things that I have ordered. And I know this is not crafty, but this is China Glaze, this nail polish. Back in the 80s, my neighbor Candy and I had gotten nail polish in a color very close to this. It was Revlon, and it's that purple with a shimmer. And I have been looking for it for years, and I finally found this on Amazon, and it's pretty close. It's not exact. The other one was more of a bluish purple, and this is what it looks like. I don't think the camera's picking up the sheen, but I was just dying to try it. I know I get a lot of comments on my nails and I just kind of wanted to share that with you because that is super fun. As you can see the blue tint in the bottle. So cool. I love this and I'm excited to try it. You'll see it on my nails soon. And then speaking of nails, 
I got some happy mail today from the Flamingo Lady Nails. I order a lot of my nail polish strips from her. It's not a direct sales marketing or anything. She's Her name is Rachel. She owns her own business and she lives in Florida and loves flamingos. So um, she always sends really cool stuff. And she sent a $5 coupon the other day. So I, of course, had to um, order from her. And she always sends fun stuff. She calls it flocking. And here is a hair tie. I have several of these. This has flamingos on it. And I, I use them to tie up my wild tresses every so often. So I got this I got two polishes and oh Jessica Lowe is here hi Jessica <laughs> you're making me laugh I know Jessica Lowe in person she's a knitter she knitted me the Bernie Sanders um, um, mittens she is awesome and I got a surprise in the mail for you, Jessica. Next time I see you, I'm going to give it to you. It's really awesome. And let's see. I might be missing some chat here. Let's. Barbara is new to my channel. It's your first Monday night. Welcome, Barbara. I am glad you're here. If I missed anybody, welcome. Angela and Carla, you guys are awesome. So I picked out this color because, you know, it's a pinkish purple. And then I picked out their matte is flat top coat because they showed a picture of this with the matte and it was beautiful. So I picked those. I think they're going to be fun. And there are free shipping on $20. So that's not bad at all. And then I picked these nail stickers because they are awesome and purple and cool oh wait till you see this jessica you will like it and she always sends something free and she sent these nail wraps for free you can't really tell they're clear and they have a flower on them and look at those cactus fun and a sticker and a nail file so I just kind of wanted to share those with you and I think I have a link below I'm not an affiliate with them but I do get a coupon if my friends order so that's really cool and I have this cool thing and I wanted to show you my favorite product that they have this is called beefcake and it is a base coat. It makes your nails satiny, but when I use it and wear nail polish, my nail polish lasts almost a week with no chips. And that's not what this stuff is supposed to do. This is just supposed to strengthen your nails. But I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing, amazing. The best product I've ever put on my nails, that beefcake. All right, so I'm going to get my nail stuff out of the way and let's get to craft stuff. I got a bunch of happy mail um, this week and it's kind of out of my reach. So let me go grab it. And hi, Janet. I have to reach way over. I ordered something else from Amazon that I thought I would share with you. It's this big purple case. And it is made to hold diamond paintings. And let me open it up. It's kind of like a laptop case, but I bought it for this. And I'll show you kind of how it works a little bit. I ordered this light box for my diamond paintings. 
and there you can see it turns on it has several settings I'm not going to leave it on because it's probably killing the camera but it is cordless and rechargeable and the great thing about it is is you put your diamond painting this is my current one on it and it lights it up from behind let me see if I can turn it on without blinding you and you can really see what you're doing so I thought that would be pretty awesome so that is the idea behind that and I was looking for a case just to put this in and that's when I found that awesome bag and it's purple and I love it Carla that beefcake would be great for you it is a strengthener it is so awesome and this has this has a cushioned pocket where that fits in it has another pocket there so if you have an iPad or even a really small laptop like a MacBook Air or something would probably fit in there it has this pocket on this side where I put my diamond painting it has these pockets this holds all of my drills for that diamond painting these are all of my supplies so this is an awesome bag and if you're working on scrapbook stuff too this bag might be good for you as well if you're going to a crop or something and then it has this front part And it has all of these little pockets and these expandable pockets. And then this front has two big pockets and a zipper pocket behind it. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better. There's the charger. I stuck the charger in there for the light box. And then this zippered part behind it this bag is awesome and I will put links um, to them after the show tonight and then it has this one more pocket in the front I like to take my diamond paintings on vacation with me and that would be perfect and that will hold several projects it's really cool let me get a drink and then I will get some mail and we'll open some mail. I have to move my whole microphone over. I didn't bring my mail over close enough to me. All right, there we go. Now I am a little more prepared. Hello, Anne. Welcome. All right. Anne and her kids are beautiful. Anne is another person I know in real life. <laughs> in person. <laughs> I shouldn't say in real life. You are all in real life, but you know what I mean. I'm going to adjust my camera real quick because I think I bumped it. There we go. All right, I have a couple things that I got at Dollar Tree that I wanted to share with you. Got these really cool foil stickers. They are awesome. And those butterfly stickers and these really cool border stickers. I've, I have these and I've used some so I had to replace them. My Dollar Tree is pretty sad. They don't have a whole lot of good crafting things but I grab what I can when I can. Alrighty and then I got some awesome mail. This is from Remy in Las Vegas and she is in the group Creativity Swaps Happy Mail and Friendship and we have a 
um, a, a tag where we send something from our home state. And we both ended up having each other in this tag. And I have a bunch of Ohio goodies that I'm sending to her. And she sent me stuff from Las Vegas. And she sent me this postcard. And if any of you really know me, you know I love Las Vegas. And... Um, she says, hi, Maria. Hope all is well. Well, here are some goodies made here in my home state of Nevada. I know you recently visited Las Vegas. I hope you enjoyed my city. I did. I love Las Vegas. Jessica Lowe has been to Las Vegas several times with me, as a matter of fact. Um, I hope you got to explore the town and city away from the Strip, and yes, we have done that. Um, next time, I highly recommend visiting the Ethel M. Chocolate Factory and their Cactus Garden, and we did visit them on a past trip, and it is awesome. Um, the Springs Preserve is very nice, too. I don't think we've been there. There's also a lot of nice restaurants off the strip. Enjoy your goodies and best Remy. And she sent me, I love it, Ethel M chocolates. And I got these, when did I get these? Friday, I think, Thursday or Friday. And I have not eaten them yet. It's amazing I have not eaten them yet. And then she sent me two big bags of delicious looking popcorn that one and this one and look at the name of this one bling bling that's me I don't know if she got that for me because of the name or if it's just a really good flavor but either way I do like that yes Jessica and Steve and Todd and I have spent many times in Vegas and I've had a great time just um, Vegas is super fun I can't um, I can't not go there <laughs> all right so then I've got I've got all this mail so let me see what I want to do next I think I have some smaller items some cards so let me do the cards first and I have something in here that is super special and I will do that one last I put that in there okay I opened them just to make sure they were safe but I haven't really looked at them This here is from Noel, and Noel is a viewer. And I love this envelope. Isn't that a pretty envelope? And the paper is so soft. She sent this card with these beautiful butterflies, and it says, Crafty Rhea, I recently did a purge of my sticker collection and found this sticker. Figured it would be better with you than me. Hope you enjoy. Happy crafting, Noel. And there it is. No, Noel was the one that punked me with that um, past due notice card, if you guys remember that. But I think she felt bad and is making up for it now by sending me some beautiful peacocks. And I still haven't gotten her back. I do have ideas, and some of you have sent me some secret ideas, so I'm excited about that. I know, I can't believe the chocolate, chocolate lasted that long here. But... It looks really good. And it's probably good that there's only a few pieces. Otherwise, I might go a little crazy. So thank you, Noelle, if you are watching. I really appreciate that. That's pretty awesome. And then this next one is from Tammy, and she is from the group The Creativity Swaps, Happy Mail and Friendship. And look at this pretty envelope. It's like holographic, so pretty. And 
and these are some tags this is oh she sent it in two envelopes I put them together this is the washi Wednesday and these are just washi tape samples I use I have some of that on another sample and I used it yesterday and I'm almost out so that is really cool I need the cactus so I was actually packaging Remy's gift with that because I was using some cactus tissue paper and we have the sloths that is so cute I love it I have sloth um, not tissue paper but um, what do I want to say poly mailers that envelope is so cool I'm going to try to save pieces of that maybe there's not a lot but maybe as a trim for something all right and then we have this is from Christy and this says warning opening this package will cause extreme happiness and look at the front of that that's so cute I like that beehive this is also from creativity swaps happy mail and friendship and she sent some stickers trust your crazy ideas and then some bunch of little cute little die cuts and this is for a rack a random act of kindness so that is so cool thank you so much Christy I really like those goodies and we'll use them on some cards and whatnot and then I have this this is also again from Remy in Las Vegas and we were also in a um, reusable bag swap and this says hi Maria I hope you love your reusable bag tag it made me think of you make sure you open it up to see what the bag says enjoy and there is the front of the bag and let's open it up I have not opened it I have no idea what it says and I'm live so I hope it doesn't say anything bad <laughs> crafting is happiness or craftiness is happiness I like that and it's a huge bag it is about 20 inches wide this way so that is cool and it has fun polka dots on the sides and on the bottom oh that's awesome I love it and it's so pretty that does remind me of me <laughs> thank you Remy I really appreciate that oh there's Mike I don't know if you heard me talking about you Mike I talked about you today you Mike was just recently in the hospital and I hope he is doing well I hope you're feeling good Mike I told everybody to go check out your channel that's pretty awesome and this is from Lisa K and Michelle M and Michelle M is watching yay and they're in the group creativity swaps happy mail and friendship and this is a swap we did and it is um, a card swap where I think we sent each other like 20 cards and we were partners in the group in the swap so I'm gonna open the cards I don't know what they are I have not opened them at all and I just peeked in the envelope to see what it was Michelle I hope everything is safe for me to open and know nothing that's gonna get me pulled off of YouTube <laughs> I trust you we'll see what the cards are I cheated I didn't send her all handmade cards I might feel guilty now 
These are Hello, Hello, Homemade Hello, Hello Sunshine. And it says, Hello, how are you? You are on my mind. That is really pretty. And, oh, this is gorgeous. Hello, and it is a beautiful old-fashioned phone. Love it. And the same on the inside. Very pretty. I like that. I think that was a sticker. That's way cool. I like that. Okay, good. They're all safe. And hello, and the cute little owls. That gives me an idea to use some of those. I have some card bases that have um, a pattern on them. Did you stamp these or did they come like that? Or maybe it's paper. Oh, it might be paper on there. Really pretty, I like it. And then we have three thinking of you. Did I not send you hello cards? Was I supposed to send hello? Uh-oh. Maybe I screwed up. Let me know, Michelle, if I missed sending you hello cards and I'll send you some. And she has them stamped with her name on the back. And we have Thinking of You and some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers and the insides are blank. And that one is the same stamp, very similar. That's really cool. I like the way you inked up the background a little bit of that. And that is gorgeous. Thinking of you, and that is very, I don't know if you can see it, it's super shimmery and it's rainbow, which I love rainbow, love it. Oh, they were homemade, okay. All right, I remember doing homemade. And these are three blanks. And I do remember blanks, I think. You s I got scared for a minute thinking I screwed the swap up. Now I feel bad because all of yours are gorgeous. I kind of cheated a little bit. This is a beautiful butterfly, and this looks like a bunch of pieces of scrap paper down the back. It's just little strips. That's really cool. Or it might not be scraps. It might be intended to be like that. It's very pretty. That's a great way to use scraps. And these ice cream cones are fun. That's really cool. We have our strips of ribbon on here with ice cream cones. That is a great idea. I might have to copy some of these cards, Michelle. And then we have, oh, that is cool because it even shows through on the, on the um, flap. I love it. Let me know, Michelle, if I have permission to copycat some of these on a show. If not, that's okay. Oh, look at Mickey Mouse. He's so happy and he's got some balloons. Now that looks like that might have been cut out from another card and recycled. I would guess he looks fussy cut. Very cute. Love it. And then we have three get well. I should send one of these to Tracy and to Mike. <laughs> Yes, copycat your heart out. Okay, I can do that. I love that idea with that ribbon. I have so many ribbon scraps, small pieces that I don't know what else to do with. This is sending hugs and that dragonfly. He is raised up, super shimmery, so pretty. Get well soon, hope you are feeling better. I love these stamps you use on the inside. They're really nice. Yes, it would be great. Uh, you know, Mike from my co Mike's Cooking Studio does make ice cream on his show. And this says sending hugs. I love these big stamps too. And this is a very dimensional flower. Very pretty. And again, it says the same thing on the inside. 
and another card with a very similar flower on the front. I love these stamps. I mean, I think we need to have an ice cream social. Mike can make the ice cream and the rest of us, there I just like tore that right off. The rest of us will eat it, how's that? Except no coffee, Mike, I don't want coffee ice cream. I'll take cookies and cream or mint chocolate chip or cookie dough. And then these are sympathy cards and I hope I don't have to ever send any of these out, but that is fantastic and beautiful. Beautiful flower with a gorgeous, big, thick button in the middle. Very cool. Love it. Yes, I think we need one. And this is similar to the sunflower card. Love it. That's so pretty. And, and another one that's very similar, but slightly different. Very cool. I love that big button. My mom had a big tin of buttons, an old Charles Chips um, tin full of buttons. And it, that reminds me of some of the ones she had in there. I would love to have that tin, but it's long gone. I don't know what happened to it. I like this washi tape with the presents, and these are birthday. This is a slimline card and a lot of beautiful bling behind these cool cupcakes. I like that background paper too. This warm and friendly greeting is dropping by to say that you are fondly thought about and wished a happy day. I kind of owe Valerie a birthday card. I missed her birthday. So Valerie, if you're watching, pretend these are all for you. I am giving you a card tomorrow though. I have one in the bag. Happy birthday to you. May all your wishes come true. And another happy birthday to you. Oh, this is like, is this, oh no, this is different. This is fancy. I like that. It's like a belt buckle on the front. Okay, I'm gonna have to steal that. We'll have to copycat that card for sure. And, oh, I love these stickers, these balloon animals. Love them. Um, cake and candles and presents too. All to say happy birthday to you. That is so cool. And this is one of those neat cards that show both sides of the paper that I love to make. Very cool. And extras holidays I have a card for you Valley and it won't be one of these it's one that I already made <laughs> Dollar Tree stickers I haven't seen those at the Dollar Tree that balloon animals I'm gonna have to check those out and here we have a fun gatefold card with this adorable reindeer on the front very cool. I love the way that turned out. That would be great. You can recycle a Christmas card and put it on the front there. I like that idea too. And this one is grateful in the blue truck. Very cool. And a, oh, I love the jar with the eyeballs in it. <laughs> Happy Halloween. That is, I like the way that opens too. That's kind of cool to use. That's great for using up scraps of paper, but the eyeballs are so fun. And that envelope is a riot. I love skeletons. Happy Mother's Day. Very pretty. I love that bling. It is super shiny. And the ribbon even has, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that ribbon has that shimmer to it. 
Oh, the Christmas envelope is made by Sinead. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the envelope. Oh, I love the envelope. And that being off center is so cool. That goes so good together. And yes, I did make stuff back on one of my Halloween videos similar to that with the eyeballs. Yes, very cool. That is beautiful, this Mother's Day card. That paper is very unique. And then Think Green. Love it. Happy St. Patty's Day. And this is a pretty envelope. XOXO, and I love the conversation hearts. Happy Valentine's Day. Michelle, those are all so awesome. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can put them somewhere where I don't mess them up. Okay, I found a spot over there. You can't see it, but it's over. It's over there. I need another drink. Hang on. Janet, that is awesome, that envelope. And Janet is Sinead, and I don't dare try to say her last name. I can barely say Sinead, right? <laughs> this here is a, this came from Amazon, so I opened it because I thought I ordered it, but I didn't order it. And Michelle, your cards are so beautiful. This is from um, Danielle from the group. She's the owner of the group. And um, she angeled this. I was in a mini hand lotion swap and the other person was unable to fulfill her. Oh, Crockwell. Okay, that's easy. She was unable to fulfill her obligation, so Danielle jumped in. And um, she went a little extra as a rack. Uh, she said, because I do so much for the group. I don't really do much for the group except tell you guys about it, and then you guys join the group. This is a really cool tin, and it's got body and earth hand creams. I really like the tin. That would be good to store cards in or something. And I will, of course, reuse this ribbon. I don't think Danielle is feeling well either. I think she posted something in the group that she's not feeling well. So you guys that are in the group, send good wishes over to Miss Danielle. And here is the card, Body and Earth. One of the lids came off, but it is sealed. We have some hand creams. We have a rose. I love the scent of rose. Green tea. Ocean. Cherry blossom. Shea almond and lavender. What a nice set, and I always need hand cream, you know, because my hands are on camera all the time. I want to try to keep them looking good. That is really nice. I will definitely have to thank Danielle for that, and I hope she is feeling well. Your own name was Graham. Well, Crockwell is not that bad. Oh yeah, Mike, we'll have to do Christmas in July. I do Christmas all year, but definitely also in July. Maybe I'll do some kind of special series of videos, I don't know, since I recycle so many um, cards. And then I have this last thing that I got in the mail, and it is absolutely the sweetest thing. This is from Patricia. She is a viewer. She sent this 
beautiful card. Look at that background paper. And beautiful butterfly. And the card, the rest of the card is blank, but she sent this letter. This beautiful handwritten letter on this paper with this gold. I love it. And it says, Dear Crafty Rhea, I am a fan of your channel and watch you a lot. I am amazed at what you do with recycling cards. I have been crafting for many years and am almost 90 years young. I was going through my stash and found some things I thought you could use. I'm sending you a package of cards to recycle and some bling and other assorted goodies. I wanted to give you a heads up that it is coming. You may open it privately or on your channel. I don't care. I am anxious to see what you will do with some of it. If you don't want it, you can toss it or throw it out. Sorry, I don't have poly mailers. Excuse the pencil as my hands don't work as they used to. So have to erase a lot. Best wishes, Patricia. What a beautiful letter. And of course, I'm not going to throw out anything she sent. Of course not. But that is so pretty. I love that paper. And that will go in with all of my viewer mail and cards. I keep them in an album. And then this is the package that she sent and I have I just kind of opened it and saw that I have not opened it on to the inside to see what's in there so we will find out ourselves and we have this goodie bag we have some bling which you know I love the bling and these are these look like stickers yeah that is really cool and there's a whole bunch and there's some ribbon in there i love it that is so so cool those would be great for trims on cards oh there's this trim which looks super fun i don't know if you can see that very well there i'll put it on there isn't that fun? That is so cool. I know, I know she's 90. That is so awesome. I teared up when I read it the first time. I, pract I had to practice read, which is good, because I didn't cry now. This is a cute little Starbucks card or a tag. That would be great on a card if you're given a Starbucks gift card. Here is a little gift bag. Merry Christmas. I will put that in with my Christmas gift bags. I will put that with my tags as well. Try to get something else out. It's stuck in here pretty tight. We have some cutouts. That is really cool. It looks like, oh, and you know, Carrie gave me this idea. I have a plan to make something very similar to that. But I wonder if this was from a die cut. See, if you undo it that way and fold it over, that's really cool. Oh, and there's a bunch of them. I bet these are made from dies. I'm going to have to look into getting some of these dies. That is so cool. Here's a square one. Here's another one like that. This is like a big flower. I need to look into those. Those are so cool. Here's some more little ones. 
and a square. Really pretty piece of scrap paper. Some embossed owls. I love that little piece of scrap paper. And then a little envelope of goodies. We have some die cuts and it looks like some stickers and some glitter. I could have used those gold 50s when I made the card for my in-laws. Or not the card, the <laughs> scrapbook, the 50th anniversary scrapbook. And we have some Christmas cards to recycle. This one looks like a card that hasn't been used. Very cute with that cat. We have an angel. These envelopes are very pretty too. Oh look, they have the angel on the front. Very cool. And you know what I do with these. I usually just add bling and stuff to them rather than remaking the whole card. Here's a whole tree we could decorate. Put some bling on that. I'm going to move that over there. This beautiful red foiled card. And this snowflake, it's black on one side and that beautiful iridescent on the other side. We have party over here. We need these, Mike, for the um, our invitations for the ice cream party. More of this gorgeous little paper. They are very shiny and foiled. I like that. Holly Jolly. A friendship card. Happy birthday. Oh, that's really pretty. Great for kids. Thinking of you. You know what would be good all over this is that flower soft that I used before. That would be great on that. And this is an envelope that I think matches that card. Yep. I wonder if this is blank on the inside. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. I will have to make something out of that. Here's another one of those Christmas tree cards. Is that, what is this? Parasailing? I'm not sure what that is. I like that. That is pretty. Thinking of you. Again, with some pop-up flowers around the edge and some bling on there. I'm getting my ideas going. This adorable cat. Some beautiful flowers. Thinking of you. An anniversary wish. That's really pretty. Oh, and if it's your 50th anniversary, I could put those 50 stickers on there. That's beautiful. Just a note. Those pretty cards. Get well. Oh, this is a neat design. That's a neat design to copy. Thinking of you, happy birthday. It's a pretty Christmas card. Birthday, give thanks. I love the frame on that, the gold frame. Ooh, I love this card. Season's greetings. That's so pretty. All right, and there's more cards that are peeking out here. Ooh, a bigger piece of that beautiful paper. Oh, I'm so excited. I love that paper. I want big sheets of that paper. And I'm dropping things. Okay. <laughs> That's cute, the little birdies. And the stockings are so cool. Happy birthday. There's two of those. Peace. A Christmas wish. That's pretty, those stars are gorgeous. And there's two insides, and you know I always reuse those anyway, so that would be good. Those some snowflakes are gorgeous, the gold snowflakes. Ooh, more of these beautiful red cards. Now, they feel very thick. It almost feels like, oh I see, they're not, they're bent 
funny, but that's okay. We can still reuse them. There's a bunch of those. And a big envelope. We have some little envelopes. Is that a lion maybe? Yes, double-sided paper would be great. And I'm assuming you mean that little one that folds. And Val likes the kitties. I know that. She has probably, how many cats do you have, Valerie? 18, 19, 32? Okay, maybe not that many. That is maybe a hummingbird. if I can get some more of these cards out before they fall. There's a bunch of little envelopes which are great. When the caterpillar calls at the end of the world, the master calls the butterfly. Very cool. I read that wrong. What the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. That's really cool. That's a good saying. Some envelopes. This card is amazing. Look at those flip-flops. I love it. They are um, thick like foam and they all have bling. I love those flip-flops. That's so cool. To my sister, happy birthday. Oh, here's another really cool card with this house. I think it's made of felt. And the flowers, that's really neat. I might have to use some of these as patterns. And this card has a blank square, which we can recycle something and put on there as a focal image. Three boys, three girls. Oh yes, it's the Brenneman bunch, like the Brady bunch. I think she probably really has six boys, six girls. She's just not telling us. And here's another one of those. That's really cool. I'm gonna to have to think of something to do with that. Here's a patriotic card. That is cool. Here's another couple of these cards. These are so cool. Here we go, Mike. This is for your ice cream social. Yum, 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 yum. They are so cool. And cupcakes with the purple background, which you know I love. I like that, that's really pretty. And here's a chair. Again, it's very thick, 3D, I think that's fabric. And the bath, I love that. I'm in a spa swap and I might send that to my partner. Okay, and here is, now we're getting down to the end of the bag. We have this, that, oh, look at that on the back. And then that, I love both sides of those. Oh, here we have more of these animals, foil. And we have some beautiful gold stickers. They look like they're outline stickers. I wonder if they come apart and are outlines. And these are birthday. They would be great on birthday cards. Oh, the cards, are they papyrus? I don't know. That's the back. They're KJS Industries. And I'm not sure how to pronounce that. They're very pretty. And here we have, oh, this is awesome. These are very glittery and I bet they peel up. Let me see. I hope I don't ruin it. Yeah, each one peels up individually. And there are all these frames. I ordered dies that are similar to this. And I'm excited to use them. I wonder if these would work well with them, but there's three sets of those. And they are so pretty. That would be great for recycling cards. And look at that dress. That's pretty fancy. 
They're gorgeous. We have some fun stickers, an envelope. This is a gingerbread, but it's made out of fabric. Very pretty. And some angel stickers. And this is the last thing. And this is from Scrapbooking Made Simple. I don't know that I've ever seen scrapbooking made simple, but these are pretty stickers and they would make beautiful cards. And that is the end of that stack. Such pretty, pretty things. And that is the end of my happy mail. So what are we gonna make today? have a little bit of time we can make a couple of things I don't have a lot handy so I wanted to show you something that Carrie gave me the idea for let me clear off my desk see if I can get some of this stuff back in this envelope I don't think it'll all fit Most of that stuff fit. That's pretty good. I love that paper. That's so pretty. So pretty. Something Patriot. Um, Shannon, I have a Sizzix Big Kit, Kick, Big Shot, one of those. I also have a Cricut and I need to use the Cricut and Rosemary from Rosemary's You Rock Art is sending me some Cricut cartridges that someone in her family, her sister-in-law maybe got at a yard sale or garage sale or thrift store. And um, I'm excited for that because they will fit in my Cricut. It's one of the old ones. It's the big long one expression maybe. Val would know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't really have much patriotic. That's a good idea because Memorial Day is coming up. I don't think I have anything handy that is patriotic. I have those two cards. Let me put those away. I wanted to show you an idea that Carrie gave me oh I do have one thing I do want to make I did set that out to go ahead and make that I'm just moving stuff out of the way so while we think of what else to do I have this this is also from Remy I opened that last week I think but I wanted to show you something that Carrie sent me or gave me the idea for, which is very much like these circles. Okay, I'll have to dig that back out, Michelle. But she pointed me to these, um, and I forgot what she called them. She posted it in the Facebook group and this is from Pinterest and you take this you put it on top of your cardstock and you use a knife and you cut it around and you fold it and it makes something like these but I bet these are made with a die cut which would be so much easier that is so cool so I just wanted to give a shout out to Carrie and I found one while I was looking for that I found a Christmas tree one that I thought would be pretty to use on a card so that's really cool that Carrie gave me that idea and Patricia sent them to me I had no idea they were in there so I received this as a thank you card when I ordered some nail stickers from Shauna and um, 
I thought I would use these with this. It, they just happened to pop up on my desk this week and I thought this would be perfect. So let me get a card base. Oh, I'll show you what else I did. Last week, you know all those books that I purchased from the thrift store? Um, I, the, the gardening book, I went ahead and made all these envelopes out of the big pages. And I thought they came out really cute. And that one makes me think of you because she loves to garden. All of them makes, make me think of you, Anne. And the butterfly is really pretty. I just thought they came out so pretty. I used the envelope punch board for those. Oh, there you are, Carrie. Yes, yeah, see, I printed that and the Christmas tree. So we'll try those tonight. Let's do that. And I have my box of card bases. I made some more card bases tonight and stuck them in the front. But let me see if I have a colorful one that will go with this. I have that. That might be too bright. What about that light blue? I have the green. I think the light blue probably goes well. And then I'm not here digging for a half an hour. Yeah, let's go with the blue. those out of the way. I think I will just mat it on here like that rather than mat it on another color. I will do a video at sometime soon with patriotic stuff since 4th of July is coming up as well. I don't need the back of that. But I thought this would be super easy and I thought I would do it on the live. And I'm going to trim down my card base here because it's kind of crooked. I don't know what I was drinking when I made this card base. But it is very crooked. And I was using my paper trimmer to trim sticky stuff. You'll see that in an upcoming video. And I did not clean it like I said I was going to do. So it's still a little sticky. The joys of going live and not being ready, right? All right. So, I lost my card. There it is. <laughs> so I thought I would just put that right on the blue just to make it easy. And I did fill up my tape runner with new tape. And when the tape is new, it's super quiet and easy to use. When the tape starts going down, it doesn't look, it's, I don't know, not as easy to use and it's very noisy. All right, so we have this and these. That is cool. you guys know each other <laughs> in real life? So these stickers are attached, I think. There are little tiny pieces of glue that attach like all four circles, but I'm going to cut some apart and not keep them attached. 
I want to find the right size to go around thanks so much and I think it's going to be this one here this white and so I'm going to get my finger blade I have used this finger blade for so many things since I got it it is so awesome and I'm just going to look on here and try to see where it is connected to the other things and just give it a little cut. just to separate it so I can get just that circle off and not the whole thing. And then I'm just going to put it on there. There we go. Now I could stop there, but there's a lot many more circles to be had. Let's see if this blue one, this blue one would go around this blue circle. So let me go ahead and trim away. I can see easily there the two extra pieces of blue. That's so funny you guys, if you guys know each other or know someone that knows each other. All right. Let's see if I can cut better around that blue. This might be harder than I thought. Nope, there we go. And then I'm going to just put this blue around the blue circle. And I'm going to just trim them off the bottom. There we go. I might put one more here to make it even. There we go. So we have the blue. Let's see what other colors we have. Maybe something on that green one. That orange would fit on the green. I don't have green to fit on the green. Let's see if I have any other matching colors. I do want to, I think, put something on that green, and I think this orange is going to go. Just cut around it. Shannon, I am from New Jersey. I don't know if I told you that or not. And it's kind of pretty much like Ohio, really. Not much different as far as scenery is concerned. Lots of trees and farms and gardens. There we go, so we have orange on the orange. Let's see, maybe that one up there. Let's see what'll fit. The pink, the big orange. Maybe I'll do the big orange. I have to stop and read the chat every so often. 
so I know what's going on. We have some cornfields here in Ohio on Goba, the bike ride that I do in summer. We um, sometimes the corn is high enough for, well, you know, something you may want to go in the cornfield and hide when you're on a 50 mile bike ride and there are no bathrooms. I'm not saying I've ever done that, but I've done that. <laughs> Sometimes there's emergencies as you are riding on your bicycle. Let's see what other colors I want to do. Maybe this pink one down in the corner. Oh, maybe I could do... I could use the rest of this orange on this one. That's about the right size. Carefully. Yeah, we do have good weather in Ohio in the spring. That's about it. Well, it could be good, depending on the day of the week. It could be bad. You just never know. If you don't like it, come back another day and it'll be different. All right, do I need more glitter? Maybe I'll just leave that glitter alone and leave it be. What do you guys think? I think that's kind of fun. I wonder if maybe I could put a complete middle piece inside of one of these like it's supposed to be like this. Here, I'll do that this one if I can get it on there. We had snow here in April. There we go. You just never know like what the weather's going to do from day to day, but now it's hot. It's really hot today. That's right, Val, wait five minutes and it changes. Well, there we go. We have that card done. And let's see, I was going to play with some of those, some of these. I thought the Christmas tree looked easy enough. There's, a, I have a big one and a little one. I thought the little one would be a good size for an A2 card. I just... I think this was like at 100% and this one I think I made it at 75%. So let me see what I have for papers handy. I have this green. Yep, that green is a good size for it. So let me... I'm going to just cut the front of this off. Now Mother's Day is a little late to be having snow. And I hope the Father's Day week is not bad because that is Goba week. And I really hope it's not bad. So there, I think I will line it up on here 
and I happen to have this washi tape that I ripped off of that other envelope that Michelle sent to me. And let's see, I'm going to use this mat underneath it because I really don't like to cut up my big mat too much since I use it for filming. It's already getting pretty cut up. Do you think I need a ruler or, sh or do you think I can just do this without a ruler? And I'm not sure how the bottom goes. I should have looked at, looked at the picture better. I didn't pay attention to that. And I think I just cut along all of those lines. So let's go ahead and try. I'm just going to work down one side and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. And I'm just like just pulling it toward me. This blade is so awesome to use. I love these finger blades. I need to order some replacement blades. Because then when this one gets dull, I'll have something to replace it with. And I'm going to look at the back and make sure I cut all the way through. I think I got all the way through. And then I'm just going to turn it this way. And do this. I saw one tutorial for this where they folded it in half, but I didn't really want to fold down the center of my card. They folded it in half and cut it with scissors. I hope this turns out okay. See you, Val. Thanks for coming. I will see you tomorrow. We will have fun tomorrow. Okay, so I have all of those cut. I might have to cut the points a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to just make sure they're all cut. I'm going to go on the back and just make sure those points are cut. So they pop out. I have never done one of these types of cards. I know I've seen them done for like bookmarks and stuff. Something similar to this, but straight up and down. Okay, I think they're all cut out. Now this, maybe they just cut it out. What if I just cut it? I'm just going to try something. Do I need to cut this whole thing out? Carrie, if you're watching, let me know. Oh no, Carrie. I wonder if I do that and just fold it down or if I just cut it out completely. I bet I cut it out completely. I'm going to cut it out. There. And that whole piece will be out. I hope I didn't ruin it. And I have some, let me get a card base.
nope, that's not what I wanted. I have a card base here. This one opens up this way and I think that might be good. Oh, the first fold goes into that. Well, maybe that was a stupid thing for me to do was to cut it all the way out. I will find out. And I have a piece of red to back it on. So let's make sure it works out okay before I put it on the red. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's see if I can get that to open up. Oh yes, there we go. The first fold does kind of go down to it, not quite. Maybe I did this wrong. And then this probably goes behind there. I don't know what I'm doing. This one may be behind there. I don't know, Carrie. I could be doing this all wrong. It's kind of pretty though, even if it's wrong. All right, this one back there. Oh, I gotta, I gotta cut down that middle piece a little bit more. Yeah, I could probably glue the front one down, the bottom one down, the thing, the thing in the thing. Okay. There we go. Okay, that was kind of fun. I like it. Maybe a, a good Christmas green would be better, but that's okay. I had this handy. I'm just using my bone folder to kind of push those creases down. I've got a little runaway piece of paper fiber there we go. Oh, so just the top part. So this should have stayed on here. That's all right. We have a base on the bottom and I will glue that down. That's the beauty of crafting. If you mess it up, it's still okay. So let's see what I have here. I will trim this down a little bit off the top and the bottom. I have never made any kind of a fancy fold card like this at all. So that's pretty cool. I like it. And I have glue all in my paper trimmer. I totally forgot to clean it. Let's see how it is coming. I'll trim a little bit off of the sides. I have stuff stuck everywhere.
There we go, and I will, let me measure this card base, make sure it is a true A2 size, five and a half by four and a quarter, yep. And I will cut this down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And that will go on there like that. And then this will go on the red. I think that came out kind of cute. And see, these are all those little scraps that we could make a card base that was like on Michelle's card. I normally throw these types of things away. Maybe I need to be keeping them. Oh, okay, good. It shows the bottom cut out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be daring and use my tape on this. Normally I use my glue on construction paper. This is just red construction paper. Let's see. Let's line this up. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, it even looks pretty on that side, but I think it's supposed to be this way and not that way. Right? Yeah, I, I like the other side. I think that side's better. You could even do this on vellum and have both sides show. Yeah, I've seen them done like on straight cards, like a bookmark folded. And I do have my glue and I'm going to glue this piece down. My little bit of Elmer's glue here. And I will glue that down. I kind of like the dimension it gives. Oops, there it popped right back up. Stay down. Don't you know this is a live paper? Stay down. So that is really, really cool. And of course you could do, what if you did some bling along the sides and something cool at the top? I don't know, let me see what I got. It's not like I have bling or anything. Bling on the points. Like these points or those points? Maybe both points. Maybe I'll get red bling. I have clear bling too. Every tree needs a star. You're right. And I don't think I have a star. At least not handy. I think that came out really cool. So I have some gold. I could put gold bling up at the top because I don't really have a star. And I have some red bling. I could put red bling. I have big red bling. Ah, I think I'll do both. Boy, this red bling is really hard to pull apart. It is like held together with the craziest glue. 
I like it though. Yeah, I just glanced at it, Carrie. I didn't pay that much attention, not thinking that I would be wanting to know what it had on it. I think that's really pretty with the bling. I'm not sure I did all of my lines so even. The finger knife is, the finger blade is awesome. So easy to use. I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. I was skeptical about it. I wasn't sure it was all that it was cracked up to be. Do I need to do it? I'm trying to think what piece to do it. Maybe just kind of evenly down the center there. I feel like my thing didn't come out very even. Maybe the top points. That's a top point. Maybe I'm not doing this good. There we go. That's better. They didn't cut the bottom out at all. Ah, I kind of like the bottom cut out because it looks like a stand, you know? I like it cut out. I'll have to look around more and get some ideas. I think that came out kind of cool though. I'll put a um, a gold one at the top since I don't have a star handy. I'll look around and see. I do have stars. I don't know if I can reach them. I'm going to have to walk across my room. I have stars though. I do did remember so I'm wheeling my chair across the room and I'll see oh no those are hearts I have stars somewhere oh here they are I have stars let me hang my mic back up I like the bottom cut out I think it looks like a stand. All right, let me get that that bling off of there. You go away, bling. And I have some stars. That one might be too big. Here's the right size. That is perfect. And it's self-adhesive and super easy. There we go. Oh, that's perfect on the top. I think that came out really cool. I like it. All right. I need to get these 
dies. These could be really fun and addicting to make. I can see making all kinds of cards with these. And even with a small print of a patterned paper, they might look so pretty. I love the Christmas tree one. I think that came out pretty cool. I did see one online where they had an embossed white paper for the front and that's the one that they folded in half and then cut with scissors but I kind of like that better without I don't know about folding it in half but I guess if the front's embossed you might not be able to tell it was folded in half alrighty I did set aside a couple of Christmas cards Or maybe, what if we just bling up one of the cards I got in Happy Mail? Let me see those Christmas tree cards. If I can find that again. Here we go. While we have the stars out. And since they are already, they are new cards. I'm sorry I put you to sleep, Angela. I will, um, if I can find that, I will link it in the, I'll put the links up in the group for it. And I just thought I would put some bling on this card since we have the bling handy. And I think I will use some small red bling on this tree. And I'll put a gold star on it. Good night, Miss Michelle. Thank you so much for coming. And I thought it would just look like garland. I sometimes fall asleep just sitting at the computer. It's only 7.30. Yeah. The other day, how oh, must have been Thursday or Friday at work, I um, took a lunch break, obviously, and wasn't at work. I work from home. And I sat in front of my computer and fell asleep, sitting straight up in my chair. It was a quick doze off. I woke up right away but I had to chuckle. Maybe a bigger star on the top of this tree. Put that up on there. All right. There we go. And that is how quick and easy it is to gussy up a store-bought card. You don't have to do a whole lot of fancy things. You can take some stickles and make some snow on it. And there, and I will, you, I love the envelope, it's so pretty. And there we go, there's a card done in just a couple of seconds. Aw, we have our dog Jonah. He's such a sweet little guy. He likes to lay on the floor near one of us. He sometimes comes up in the other room and sits next to me when I'm working. 
He likes to lay down next to me. Most of the time he lays out in the front room near Crichton and they terrorize each other. Crichton's the bird. Crichton's been pretty quiet tonight, I think. I haven't heard him much. It's funny that I don't realize how noisy Crichton is until I'm editing my videos and then I'm like, wow, he was going crazy. I don't remember that when I was filming the video. That's funny, Carrie. I used to work night shift, so I could fall asleep almost anywhere, anytime. It's just crazy how that happens. We get so tired. Well, it's been about 90 minutes. We made a couple of cards. We opened a ton of happy mail. Actually, we made three cards. I forgot about this one. Let's see. And I think we'll be closing it up for the night. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm so glad you guys stopped by. I sure hope Mike is feeling better and I hope Tracy gets to feeling better soon. I hope everyone else is doing well and feeling good. It's getting to be a good time of year so it'll be more fun for us to go out. And I will say I'm not having a, a Monday Night Live next Monday because it is a holiday. But I'm, I hope to do some patriotic cards. That's a great idea. I'll have to go through my stuff and see what I have that's red, white, and blue. And we'll get some patriotic cards going because we do have some holidays coming up here in the States anyway. The Memorial Day and the 4th of July. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. I've really enjoyed reading the chat tonight. Everybody's been very chatty and so much fun. Quite awesome. Thanks again for watching and until the next video, you know what to do. Tell me, go get crafting. Bye bye.